mark three two defeat today. What's your thoughts on the performance? Performance was very good. Um, we you can see what we're trying to do. We're committing to it. I think we're building numbers of relationships. Um, we're definitely um, getting better. Um, but it's that last little bit now. We've um, unfortunately lost the game on three set plays today. Um, Bromley, a very experienced side, you know, riding high in the league, and I think we've pushed them all the way, and that makes it even more disappointing because we don't want to be this good-looking outfit which loses. You know, that's not us. That's not what we're going to be about. But at the moment, we're learning through our hardships. We're learning through the experiences, and you know, we'll be better for them. Um, we, you know, we, we feel that we're on the right track, and that's why we're so desperate for that win, for a positive result, for, for to get the lads something to, to you know keep believing in because they're they're working really hard and they're they're doing what we're trying. Yeah. Let's just start from the first start of the game. Obviously, a few changes are made at the start of the game. You know, like so Ryan and Mikel and I think a few others as well come on and also on the bench as well. And to be fair, early on it paid off with the with the opportunities we had early on. Yeah, look, definitely. Look, we're trying to make the squad more competitive. We need to at the moment. We've got a few few injuries. We need to freshen things up. I've been, you know, delighted that the the board have backed me by bringing some some further reinforcements in. I think you can show their quality. It's always difficult when you drop players in at this stage of the season. That you want them. We got a gel. And we got a gel quickly. But also we got to build those match fitness up with them with those players because they've been, um, you know, not playing as many games. So to build that up in season is always difficult. So we're having to build them up slowly. You've seen with Scott Wagstaff, he's come off the bench a couple of times. Gimme Torre today come off for sort of half an hour. And we've got to, we've got to build these players up safely because we can ill afford to go too hard too early and then, and then risk losing them because they're they're so important to us. And of course, the first goal we open the score. And Mikel's first goal for the club, and it's a great finish as well. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I think you can see the patterns and the way we work and what we're doing. We can we can see it out there, and uh, you know the execution is is getting better. And we can see that with our goals, but you know momentarily we've been caught out, and uh, just a little bit of naivety and a little bit of immaturity, and uh, we're learning some harsh lessons. We really are getting punished harshly at the moment, um, but we can't feel sorry for ourselves. We, we can't say we're unlucky because that's not not, not the attitude. You know. It's happening, we've got to fix it. So we're not unlucky, um, but we're not far away. You mentioned it there, obviously it's the, it's the concentration levels potentially that maybe we need to make sure of because obviously their two goals, the first two goals have come just a few minutes after our two first goals. So, you know, especially at half time, you want to see the out, see the 2 1 lead that we arguably deserved in that first half. Yeah, definitely. And it, look, we're all so desperate for a result. And, um, you know, you can see how positive we were in our performance, but you can forgive a little bit of anxiety because everyone so desperately wants that win for ourselves, for our, for our family, our, our fans. You know, we, we, we so desperately want it. But look, how often did you see a corner go direct in? Uh, you know, a long throw's flicked off awkwardly, and then a penalty where someone's charged it down in amongst a crowded box and he spotted a handball. Like, you know, it's three three tough moments for us, but moments we need to deal with better. We need to take responsibility. There's no duck in it here. We'll meet everything head on. Um, there'll be no excuses. Um, so we will dust ourselves down and we'll go again. It's a big week, but there's green shoots there and the relationships are growing. I feel that we're getting better every week. You mentioned waiting for a while, obviously. Captain Kinsella steps up with his first goal for the club. Ultimately, it means nothing now, but it would have been a good moment for him at the time, nonetheless. Yeah, definitely. A great strike from him. I thought we worked worked the ball really well to open it up and get, get him in that position because he's got a great left foot and it's something we'll certainly be looking to do more of. Um, but like I said, we're bitterly disappointed. We, we want a winning mentality here and sometimes that we've got to build that, we've got to manufacture that, we've got to make it ourselves, we can't rely on anyone else and um, I said that if we get through this hardship and we get through this little tough period that we're having, we'll come out of it a lot stronger and a lot better but I think you can see what we're trying to do and how we're trying to do it and the boys are giving everything they've got, um, like I said, undone cruelly but also undone by our own doing so um, we can fix that. And let's talk about the goal that's ultimately won Bromley the game, the penalty, you know, what was your take on it? Just seen a crowded box, a shot, and the uh, referee blows penalty. So uh, no one's blatantly handballed it. Everyone's slid in or going through a block. There was no wayward hands. They're all down by themselves. I'd have to see it again. But like I said, I can't control referees. Only I can control what we're doing and how we react and, and how we train and how we prepare. And that's all I can focus on at the moment. Um, today was frustrating in every sense of the word from the loss to a couple other decisions we felt weren't quite going our way but we can only control what we can control and we can control how we prepare and how we react on Tuesday. Obviously a bit of a late injury scare with the likes of Giles coming off late on, how is he? Yeah I think that's you know 
salt into the wound is that we've just lost one of you know, our, our big players. Giles Phillips has limped off and uh, that looks like a nasty one. Um, so, yeah, you know, it's going to be more long term than short term, that's for sure. And uh, yeah, tough, tough at the moment. But like I said, we can't feel sorry for ourselves. It is, presents another opportunity for someone else. Um, we've got to step up now. Every man, you know, we need to rely on everyone. That's why we've got a squad so we can call upon them. Um, but like I said, we just get that balance so we got to try and get the minutes into people to, for the ones that we brought in to catch up the rest of the group with that match fitness. So we're going we're gonna to need everyone at the moment. We're all going to have to pull together, keep tight, keep supporting each other uh, and, and come out stronger the other end. Exactly that, you know, Corey Jordan, another one who's a defender who came on today, made his debut for the club, you know, so it's good to see you've got reinforcements in places if people need to come in and step up to the plate. Yeah, definitely, and we, we needed to do that, and like I said, I'm delighted that the, the board have been fantastic since I've come in and, and helping me helping me do that, and it just shows that, you know, lucky Corey's come on and had some minutes, we had some minutes in the week with him as well, which will put him in a better better chance for, for ch when called upon on Tuesday, so we've got, um, you know, we're, we're getting there, we're on the right track. Um, but we've got to continue to keep being brutal with ourselves and keep, keep looking for them improvements and marginal gains and keep dealing with certain situations better because it's a cruel, cruel game. One notable absentee was obviously Corey Andrews who, as you mentioned before to me off camera, has picked up a bit of a knock. How's he doing in his recovery? Yeah, Corey's, um, you know, we'll have to take a, a check on him this week. Uh, we're hoping that's not too long term and hopefully he'll be joining us at some stage this week. Whether Tuesday comes too early or not is remain to be seen. But um, yeah, we're hoping that's not a long term one and the main concern now is, is, is Giles. Um, you know, so fingers crossed on him that it's not too sinister. But the early outlook isn't too good on that one and then we obviously need to be you know we've got Kevin Locko as well where um, you know a character like that was sorely missed out there today but let's like say we won't we won't get down we'll keep we'll keep we'll keep plugging away because we, we know we're on the right track and we're going to keep believing in ourselves and you know I'm sure those points aren't far away and an early opportunity to prove right against your old club Weymouth on Tuesday night next week yeah j just another game you know like I said utmost respect for Weymouth we had a special time together you know, achieve some great things, but you know that's all in the past now. It's very much, um, you know, the next game's the biggest, and full focus on on my family, my older shop. Are you in with the shop? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe.